everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review on the Huda Beauty new summer highlighting palette and liquid, are these liquid lipsticks? Yes. I'm no, wearing one of them, and I'm wearing her highlighter right now. But she's wearing it, she's gonna test it out on me though. Yes, because I'm already wearing it today. And she, what color are you wearing? I'm wearing this one, it's called Mamacita. I really like this one. The only thing about liquid lipsticks that I don't like is this one doesn't completely set down. Like you can see that. And the thing is, with liquid lipsticks, I like mine to completely set down because I like to kiss my baby. But you know what? <laughs> now it's completely set. So you know what you should do? You need to blot it. Duh, why didn't I think of that? Because now, well, it doesn't feel tacky now. Once I like, you it's, know what I'm saying? Is it all over my face? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Now it doesn't feel tacky. So you need to blot it and um, it'll be good to go. She came out with four liquid lipsticks for the summer and we're gonna go through each color. Do you so want me to try mine? I was gonna do that. You try yeah, I'll swatch well, You look good in every fucking yeah, I'll color. Swatch I don't it. look good in every color. So. Okay. So this one's called Mamacita. I'll probably put it on afterwards because I really do like this color and I've been wearing it all day. Um, Are they hard to take off? I don't know. This is the first time I'm taking off the liquid matte. And um, yeah, they are hard to take off. We're gonna do some, what is this? It's makeup remover. We're putting a makeup remover on a brim. makeup white. Cause it's just gonna be a little bit easier for my lips. Do you have a beauty blender? We're gonna start with the lightest just because swatching reasons, it's just easier to go with the lightest so it doesn't stain the outside of your lips. And you oh, look, smart. You don't look janky. Smart. Yeah. So we're gonna, swatching reasons, we're starting out with the lightest. This one's called Bikini Babe and it's pretty pale. I think this looks pretty pale. It is. I don't know if this will look good on me. It's a nice color, but I definitely wouldn't look You know what, though? This is more of a brownie nude, not a peachy mm -hmm. nude. As I can see on the on the doe foot, they are a doe foot applicator. But, yeah, and it looks peach now. Huh. Mm, it kind of looks more brown still, but it does have an orange tint to it. Peach okay. tint. I don't know if this is giving it a true swatch because I had red already on my lips a little bit stained. You know what? I'm, I'm going to build it up um, to give it a true it swatch. It looks like it's building up well. Yeah. Okay, so the thing about her liquid mattes is they're known to be very thin formula, and they are. Can you tell? Yeah. Yeah. Um, pretty thin, but it's not, when you build it, it doesn't get clumpy like how some liquid lips are. Yes, it doesn't clumpy. get clumpy, and I would say it needs two coats. Yeah. But you have to let this one dry. Yeah, and then I, but it doesn't look clumpy, which is nice. I shouldn't have had red lipstick on before. It's so... Just the corner like you ate Doritos or something. <laughs> <laughs> so let this one dry. It's pretty much dry. They dry pretty fast too. And I'm just gonna put another coat on. Yeah, this is a lot better. This one's called Bikini Babe. It is the lightest in the collection, the summer collection. Um, I like it. What do you think? It's good on you. These taste like kind of like they're sweet, but they're not overbearing. Can you smell? They're not cookie, but I think they're vanilla. They must be vanilla. Um, you know, it smells like yeah. vanilla and a new house. New I model love home. that mount model home. Ugh, I wish they had that in the scent. You know what I mean? Like, so this one's a pink in the collection. This is the second to lightest color. This one's called Jet Setter. That's a good color. That mm -hmm. wouldn't look good on me though. Why not? It's not a peach. Too, more, too much peach in it. Mm, I like this a lot. This. I don't know why, but I feel like this is a different like consistency. Formula? Yeah, it's thicker. I'm sure it's, it all depends on the color and everything for formula. I don't think it needs two coats. No. Um, this one's a little bit of a thicker consistency, but very still very uh, liquidy. Mm -hmm. I actually, I, I really do like her yeah, little I, lipsticks. I like that color a lot. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not too brownie of a mob. And honestly, Katie, when it starts to dry, it's, there's no it's, peach in it. Mm -mm. It's kind of more pink when it dries. Yeah. yeah. Pretty. I actually really like that. You know, I see her wearing this all the time. Yeah, and it she looks has like, that nice color. And then, but on her skin tone, I feel it looks like her lips, mm -hmm. like her natural color. skin tone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this one's called Wild Child, and I do have a wild child. Truly, honestly, I do. The only thing I recommend with the Huda Beauty um, liquid lipsticks is when you do this, don't do this because they are really liquidy and they kind of get, they do fling out. I think this will need two coats as well. This is gonna need two coats. What do you yeah. think? The first coat though looks very pigmented. Pretty it's just um it's it's pretty pigmented the first coat. Yeah. But two coats probably will just really For top me, it 
for me, the reason why I like two coats, like I feel like you could, like yeah, people could wear this, but I feel like I need, I have freckly lips, so I like full, fuller coverage lipstick. Yeah, it looks like poo. We are now gonna move to the Summer Highlighter Palette. She's gonna test it out on my skin. Mm -hmm. She's a lot more fair than me, and I don't know, I'm, I'm a little worried because all of these are pretty dark. You could do... I think they're pretty dark. Okay, so on my face today, which I my makeup's kind of expired, I've had it on for a while, mm -hmm. I have on um, Copacabana, Copacabana, and that, to me, was the lightest in the palette, but I do have San Tropez on um, the base. So this is a creamy base, and then they're all RS powder oh, highlights, nice. but honestly, this is their really creamy consistency. I think like when you do this, it almost feels like cream, but it's powder. Uh, but this one's definitely a cream. So what I do for me, the the um, so you don't get like a block of cream highlight. What I do is I put the beauty blender in the cream highlighter, and then I kind of put it on my skin so I know see what how what the opacity is. Like I don't want to straight in go into like a circle dot beauty yeah, blender yeah. type of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and wait, I didn't say I wanted that color. <laughs> Katie, no, you, this is what how Huda tells you to do it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, if you. Damn, isn't it not in your writer? No, I want to say like, like the bronzer. Wait, one. backstage or what? So wait, you put no, that no, on okay. first. So you put this on. See how it kind of like just wet and kind of sheer almost. Then you do it. Okay, so don't go hard because I don't like actually highlighting on myself. Okay. I don't um, like to overdo the highlighter either, just because my skin is pretty textured in that area. Now we're gonna go into Malibu, and this is the bronziest in the bunch here. The one I wanted. The one you wanted. Um. She tells us, see, like, it still goes yeah. bronzy. So she, what she recommends is, and the reason why she has this is you use this first to intensify the color that you're going to put over the top. Um, but we'll see. If it doesn't work on Katie, then, you know, this is a first impression. So, yeah, it's too dark for your skin. So you can see here that I did do the base, and then I did the bronze on top. I feel like... When I blended, but I, when I blended it in, it wasn't as dark as when I put on the application. Also, this is a pretty dense brush, um, the smaller brush. I feel like it's denser than like a fan, like mm -hmm. feathery fan brush. We're gonna try the purple one just because I feel like that looks the scariest of the palette. Scariest? The scariest. Like I feel like how do people pull off purple highlighter? But I think Katie could. Look at me this way. Just look that way. Like you're not bothered. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just put this on Katie's cheekbone. Okay, you what? When you apply, first of all, you like put it in your eye. You shouldn't put it there. I don't want to put it here, Katie, because you're it's gonna be textured. Okay, but I don't want it to fucking be in my eye. And there's the pink highlighter on Katie. Actually, I think it looks kind this of color cool. looks better than this one. Let me see you. I think it doesn't make my skin look as textured. You know why? Because I put the base there. Yeah. Okay, so for me... New discovery. New discovery for this. Um, this cream base actually made Katie's cheek look a little bit more textured um, on that side. And then I didn't use a base on this side, and it doesn't. And, but that's good. the purple highlighter. I know a lot of people won't... What the fuck? I would wear this purple highlighter would with you it. Would? Yeah. Yeah, I'd wear it. It looks good to me. Um... It does. So the purple highlighter to me doesn't look too crazy mm -mm. at all. I, I mean, I was scared when I saw this. I was like, maybe I'll just use this as an eyeshadow. But honestly, it pretty much it does sheer out to an actual highlighter iridescence. Yeah, I like it. I like it better than the bronze color. And I was. I mean, I have, about having the bronze I have color. Uh, Copacabana that one. So it's more of a pink duochrome. This is more of a purple. And then Malibu, which Katie has on her other cheek, is just a straight. I feel like that'd be really good for medium to deep skin tones. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. So that was our review on the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette in Liquid Lipsticks. Leave a comment down below which highlight you guys like the best. And if you're going to try this palette, she was sent it for free, so we did not Wait, pay for it. Wait, my face was like bitchy. I don't so give a fuck. I'm not going to do it over. <laughs> I was sent this in PR, so I did get it for free, but I feel like if we were to pay, if you were to pay for this palette, would you buy it? I would buy probably liquid lipsticks over the highlighter. The highlighter? Just because I'm not a fan of highlighter. Well, at all. no, and know. these and these highlighters are pretty crazy. Not saying that they're not pigmented, because they are. They're more of an iridescence, which I actually like. I don't like 
shimmery ass highlighters. I just feel like her other highlighting kits are a little bit more neutral, um, and that, but that's okay because this is a summer collection, so that's what she was aiming for is bright colors, summer collection, that type of stuff. So if you guys are into the like purple iridescence highlighter, which I am, um, but you know, Lord knows how many I have, I think any skin tone can wear the liquid lipsticks and the highlighters. I feel like it's a very diverse um, collection. So that's a wrap on our video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. Also subscribe to her channel. You'll probably already be subscribed to her channel. I'm the one with a new channel. So do you have anything else to say? Yeah, I was looking at the camera like <laughs> the whole time when you were talking. So don't mind that. But yeah, so subscribe to Katie. And if you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to me. Until next time, we're probably going to do a bunch of videos together. It's a lot more fun for me to like be in a video with someone else. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And my mom's watching my child, so it's easier for me to kind of like get into the video. Yeah. So, anyways. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stand up straight? I am, bitch. Okay. It's on her One, two, three. Okay, guys, on three. Come in closer. Come in closer. Like, we're sisters. We're not fucking enemies here. One, two, three. Hey, guys! <laughs> Wow, that's like toddler shit. Yeah, hey guys, is. welcome back to my channel. So do you want me to do it though? Mm -hmm. Ew, she's putting her lips on my beauty blender. Mm -hmm. Just sit up straight, I look like I'm hunching. I always do. It hurts so bad to sit up straight. It hurts so bad. Do you have scoliosis? It's just like my back fat. It's not, it's, I, uh, my back's not used to supporting my fat. <laughs> this one's called Bikini Babe. Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottoms and Sandy Cheeks lives there. <laughs> fucking love fucking Sandy Cheeks. I can put up, I can pull off a good corral. <clears throat> okay, this one's called Wild Child. Wild Child. Chat. 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 Wild Child. child. I uh, put I'm it. Put, first of all, you're getting in my fucking lashes. No, I'm not. Are you not putting them Oh my on? god, stop doing your fucking one! What it, what like, what you liked most about the collection what, what, that you what, saw what, today what, or whatever. What, 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 what? Alright, um, I'm gonna have to like cut this off. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna use that on everything. Today we are doing a review on the Huda Beauty 